Video and music is very important for any website which is really going to bring attention to that website you're creating. Today, let's go over exactly how to add a video and music player to your website to get the most attention for you, which makes your profile look more professional and easier on the eyes. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments about our videos and what you would like to see next. Going over videos and music. Look on the left hand side, it's all underneath the add features, just as we do our boxes, the menus, we're going to add them here, and you're going to see exactly below the box menu, it lists and grids, and video and music. Once you click video and music, you're going to see a wide range of different video options, such as single video players, you're going to have Wix video, the video box, video mask and transparent videos all right so let's go up to the single video players this is just what it says is a single video let's go over and i'm going to drag it right here and drop and that's your video player and we're going to bring it down just perfectly and here we go now this is a pre-selected video just to show you what it looks like now assuming that you already have your video that you have recorded uh, we are going to use this one, which is a template. To change the video, it's going to take you back to our dashboard. And you have a few options here. You can change the video. And this is the dashboard I was telling you about. All right, so you can upload media as well. I'm going to go from my computer and upload from computer. And you can have right here with a galaxy and customization. And it's going to upload for you in just a moment. And you're going to take this little time. It's going to upload and then you're going to actually click it right here to add the page. That's it. That's for your own custom video. Now I'm going to exit out just for now. Uh, I'm going to cancel the upload. Alright, now if you want to select a video from you have your computer, you have YouTube, Venmo, Facebook, and Daily Motion. And we also have one from Twitch. Now, whichever you select your video from which you want it to be, if it's from your computer or one of these selected options as well, we have playback options. So it auto plays. So once you come to the page and the page uploads, it plays automatically and you can have it play in a loop, which means it continues to play. Now, it's always a great idea to have a video description to tell exactly what this video is. It really does help. And you can actually tell what the video uh, is about. So, right here. Uh, now, that's that option. Now, when we go to settings, that's it. And we have the layout as well. Show the video title, your video title. And you can just click and change it here. Double click and type in whatever you would like. Now, the play button size, you can change that size. Or you can make it smaller or bigger to however you would like. Now, when playing, controls show on hover or never. Uh, so remember, if you don't remember what hover is, you just when you put your cursor over the video, you're hovering over it. And that is the video layout. You can design. Now, you can have the color and capacity, right? So you can see, which is not a good idea for a video. But if that's what you want, you have it as well. You have the border options. You can change the color. Uh, let's go with a purple right and the width of the border option all right now we have the enable the shadow now you can kind of make a shadow to wherever you want on the angle and the distance the size and the blur and that's going to be right on the outside now that you can see it right and you can change the size now so I can show you around that shadow around the video box so you can really customize that. Now your text, uh, the text play button, you can have change colors as well to however you want. And you have custom colors or you can add a color that you already have selected before as well. Now the font, you can change the font to however you want for the text, the font size, and you have bold and italics. Now that is design of the video box. Remember the animation? So what about the box animation? So it's the same. So when you load that page, that animation can show up of that box to really put attention to the video. 
pretty cool, right? And the customization is just the same as previously mentioned before. Now that's your standard box. Pretty cool, right? So that really brings out attention. So you can fully customize everything in that video box from that standard template of a standard video box. Let's go ahead and delete this one. We're going to go to add. Now let's go over the Wix videos. Now this is all videos that are already selected from Wix and if you can tell it's a grid. So you can have a grids, you can have classic, compact, and strips as well. So this remember strips are the little sections of the web page. So you can have one that is the entire strip with your title playing over it and you have the video playing in the background as well. So it's the same. That is your Wix video, and it's the same. Uh, if you want grid, let's bring grid over and drag and drop. Give it just a moment, you can see it's loading. Now we have this go. Now it's a grid of all videos. Pretty cool, right? And I'm going to make this down just a little bit to give it space. All right, and here we go. And this is just the grid. How we showed you before with the grid on images, it's the same for, for videos. Uh, and the same, manage videos. Now once we go to manage videos, it's going to take us to our dashboard. <laughs> videos, live stream videos as well, and this is our video library. And you can do upload videos from your computer, the Dropbox, or Google Drive. And there you go, and this takes you here. All right, and you can upload them. Uh, and that's manage the videos. We can go to settings. Now this is the Wix video settings. Remember this. Now you have the layout. You're going to change the the grid. Just the same for the grid and the list. It's going to have the same options, except you're a few more like the player or comments as well. You're going to have that. When we go to manage. You can do manage videos, which I just showed you, or choose videos to select them specifically. Uh, if you want to add a new channel, or all videos, or one video, there you go. Uh, the comment sections, you can actually, uh, on uploaded videos, you can turn it on, or during a live stream, you can have comments as well. You can, the titles, you can customize the titles. So with the theme, you have the heading, right? You have the fonts and bold, italics, and underline, and the font size. So it's the same as you would do in the text, all of these as well. Now the play video buttons, you can have the icon in text or the icon only. And you have an option to upgrade for Wix as well. And that is this. That's the Wix video options. And I had selected just one video, remember, uh, so I did the, that's why you see this and not the grid anymore. But I'm going to delete, come back to the video options, the video box is just these little custom borders with the videos, and you have them as well. So this is the baguette, you have the rhombus, you have the circles, and you have the arc window. Now it's just, a, it, it's exactly what that is, is just the window or a box that surrounds the videos. The video mask is pretty much essentially the same thing as well. Uh, it just does a couple of extra little things. Uh, how it kind of distorts the videos here, you can see, but it's still a box or a custom here, right? So it's still that box border, but it's going to have a few little extra features to it. And you can see how it moves. And there you go. That's a more prime example here of how you have the box and you have the video playing in the background. So it just kind of creates a border. You have a transparent video, which is pre-selected, distortion, you have sliders and selfies. And that is the video options. Uh, I'm going to go through and show you one right here because it's going to have some cool options with it as well. You can kind of select this. Now we're going to go to the box. You can change the video the same as I showed you before. Uh, and you can kind of move this smaller or bigger right here. Now the behaviors. Now when you go to the behaviors, how does the video start to play? Automatically? On click or hover? How does it pause? By clicking or you can't pause it. And how does it end? It loops, replays on click, or it stops. That's the behavior of the video. Now you can actually have it play in slow-mo as well. 
All right, uh, the design of the video. Now, this is the options here. You can pick a cover, the cover image, and you can have a shadow as the same as I showed you the other video player as well. And come back to the cover image, and you can have it fade out as well. And the animation of how that box shows up. Remember how I showed you that, which is kind of cool. And change the video. So that is this box. Pretty cool, right? Very interesting, very, very attractive to your website. Now that's the transparent videos as well, the video mask. Now let's go over the audio players. So if you have an audio and you want to do a standard, you have the change the track for the music. You can change the image as put here, or you can keep it. One track, external MP3. And you can upload a track if you already have it, and you can give the artist name if you want to give that. You can give it the track name, playback options, play in loop, or just play once. Pretty cool. Now we have the layout. Now, it depends on what you want. If you want the cover image, you have the cover image. If you don't, artist name, track name, progress bar, or timestamp you have. Or you can just click play, which is not very attractive, right? So let's leave these. And you can have an icon as well. This is just the, deep, the display and the layout of the audio track. And the same for the animation. Remember, how does that player show up? Or you can stretch it across the screen. And there you go. Pretty neat, right? That's the standard audio player. Coming back to add, you have Wix Music, which is already selected, and some pretty cool boxes or players for you. Just drag and drop. If you like these templates, it really helps. The Wix, the Wix website really allows you to choose some pretty cool uh, boxes and some options for templates for you. Really great. Let's go to Manage Music. It's going to take you to the dashboard as well. You have your music library, uh, your album. You can create an album, you can create a single, and you can create a playlist. Now that is your option. So you can stream a, or sell a single, uh, add remixes into the slides and more, and stream or sell your full-length album, or you can customize each track for streaming or selling. And we'll go off into that a little bit later too. Uh, you have settings. Now, just like videos, you're going to have some pretty cool options as well. And take your sound online. We're not going to do that just yet. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and show you. All right. Loading in. And this comes right back to this. So the album, create an album. Add, save and add tracks. So you can do this from your computer. Now you have your album names, version, uh, your images as well, and descriptions. Now here, the sell and download your options on your site. You, know, you can have no downloads, free downloads. So if you don't want to sell it, let fans name their price, require email for downloading. There's a few options here. The currency, you can just change the currency to whatever you want to do it. It'd be your euros, the Australian dollar, the, Bra uh, the Brazilian. Uh, bonus items. You can give well, your fans a little something extra. So it's just like a bonus, exactly as it says. And link to other music platforms. So you can get it on iTunes, Spotify, and more. And you can do this as well. And you can actually post the album link here. And there you go. And this is actually how you can sell your music if you decide to sell music. Let's go ahead and exit out. Right, and once we add that selection here, you're going to have Wix Music, Layouts, Control Bar, Horizontal, the List, Track Name Only. It's the same as the previous uh, layout as well that I showed you for just the standard music box. And um, when we go to Settings, it's the same. Fans can share my tracks or no. Fans can share my album, yes or no. Auto play when the page loads, so you can kind of go ahead and get a list for it. And that is music. Going back to add. So that's Wix Music. You have SoundCloud. It's all going to be the same platform. It's just exactly uh, these boxes, just either focused on SoundCloud, Wix Music, or YouTube. Uh, you also have Spotify as well, and you have a U an iTunes button. So when you click on iTunes, it takes you exactly to the iTunes site where they can download it from there or listen to it as well. And there's the buttons. Now you have uh, iPlayer HD, Wix Podcast Player, the brand is town, 
bands in town. Uh, video is an image slider, image photos and videos, uh, there's testimonials, slideshow, and you have a professional looking video ads in three easy steps, right? So you can do this to make your own videos to actually advertise, so that's pretty cool. Now this is the video and music options here on Wix.com. So I highly recommend adding these to your website because it really grabs it in, even if it's just you speaking and kind of giving you a brief description, which is great. So if you have this text describing what your website is, what you're looking for, how you're going to do something, have this text and then exactly have the voice and it's going to grab attention because not everybody's going to read it, but they can definitely listen and still multitask. And so it really helps them as well and it really puts that extra spazzle in your, in your website. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and catch us again on for extra tips and tricks. And I will see you next time.